Greetings once again in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, today, our topic for today is entitled, Why God Delays Your Blessings. Right here. Why does God delay your blessings? You might be there asking yourself, God, I've been in this situation for such a long time. Why are you delaying? Why does it seem like you're not answering my prayer? And today we're going to be focusing on that, which, which then goes back to our topic, which says, Why God delays your blessings right and we're going to be looking at the we're going to be looking actually at the time that the Israelites were in the wilderness and they were in the wilderness and then God says to them I am going to put you guys here for 40 years until you get to the promised land that I am taking you but before we begin let us have a word of prayer father in the name of Jesus Lord we thank you Lord for such a wonderful opportunity for us to be here Lord we thank you Lord for allowing us Lord to be here Thank you once again, Lord, for the Holy Spirit, for it is the one that is going to speak to your children. May it be a word of encouragement, a word that will be able to change someone's life. This I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, like we said today that our topic says, why does God delay your blessings? Now, if we go back in the book of Numbers, we realize that now the children of Israel, they're in the wilderness, right? And God is speaking to them. And he says, as they go to search the land, as they, and they come back, the elders of, of, of the 12 tribes, as they come back, they come back with the bad report and they're saying all these kind of things. And God says, because of your memory, because of your complaints, I am going to keep you guys in the wilderness for 40 years until you guys can reach into the promised land, right? And then that happens and then that happens. But to our first verse today, we're going to be looking at the book of our Psalms, chapter 95, verse 8 to 10, which then says, do not harden your hearts, right? In rebellion, do not harden your hearts in rebellion as in the day of of trial in the wilderness right which then look makes us to look back at um the time which this this point refers back to the time that the children of israel were in the in the um, in the wilderness actually let's read it psalm chapter 95 verse 8 until 10 and it says do not harden your hearts right do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion as in the day of trial in the wilderness when your fathers tested me they tried me right um they tried me, though they saw my work. For 40 years, I was grieved with that generation and said, it is the people who go astray in their hearts. Now, this is God who's speaking. He's saying, do not harden your heart. You might be in a situation now and you're thinking to yourself, God, I don't see your hand. God, I don't see your works. God, I don't see where you are in my situation. But God is saying, do not harden your hearts for this is a moment of trial. What happens in the moment of trial? Sometimes God puts us in the moment of trial because he wants to mold your character. God wants to mold your character. God deals with character because God knows that in building your character is going to make you, when you go up there, you're going to remember that there was once a point where I didn't have nothing. There was once a point where I had nothing to look upon. But thanks be to God for I am here today. Glory be to God for I am here. You know, the a trial, it says that um, in a trial, it brings out a, a perseverance. It brings out hope. And we can find this um, in the book of Romans, chapter 5, verse 3 and 4, which then says that we glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, which then says perseverance then produces character. Character then which produces hope, right? So in, in our suffering, let us rejoice for we know that the God that we worship, the God that we worship is not going to leave us alone. The God that we worship is not going to leave us to go astray. The God that we worship has higher thoughts and bigger plans than what we can ever imagine. The God that we worship is dealing with our character. So let us persevere. The Bible says that in our sufferings, there we are taught how to persevere. In our uh, our sufferings, we are then taught uh, uh, how to build a character. And God, God is molding your character today. God is molding your character and he's saying in the situation, in the wilderness that I've put you in. You know, as the children of Israel were in the wilderness, there were things that, um, that, that they were looking forward to, right? And God would provide. 
God would provide in that moment. But because there was a bigger blessing that God was preparing for them, he said they had to wait for 40 years. I don't know how long you've been waiting in your situation, but God is saying he is molding your character. God is saying to you today that he is building your perseverance. God is saying to you today that in all of this, rejoice in the Lord, for he knows the plans that he has for you. Now, if you move on to Psalms chapter 27, verse 14, which then speaks about wait patiently on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, right? Wait patiently upon the Lord. Be of good courage and the Lord shall strengthen your heart. Wait patiently upon the Lord. I don't know how long you've been waiting and you're about to give up, but God is saying, wait patiently upon the Lord. If you were on the verge of giving up, God is saying, hold on for wait patiently upon the Lord. It may seem like God is not in your life. God is not hearing your prayer, but God is saying to you today, wait patiently upon the Lord. He says, and waiting patiently upon the Lord, be of good courage and he shall strengthen you, right? And he shall strengthen your heart. And then by strengthening your heart, you shall be able to persevere. Now let's go again to um, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. It says that, but they that wait upon the Lord, they that wait upon the Lord, it says that they shall renew their strength. They shall it shall mount up with wings like eagles. It also says that they shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. This is what happens when we wait upon the Lord. It says we shall renew our strength. Why? Because we know that our God in heaven hears our prayer. We know that our God in heaven is in control of our situation. We know that our God in heaven is taking care of the things that we are currently facing in our lives. So let us remember to wait patiently upon the Lord. For God says we shall renew our strength. Not only that, but once you strength is renewed. It says we shall mount up like eagles. You know, it says we shall mount up like eagles and we shall fly and we shall run. Even though we run, we shall not be weary. Even though we walk, we shall not faint. Why? Because we are waiting patiently upon the Lord. Right? And this is the message that I want to bring to you today that God is saying to you today that wait patiently upon him. Wait patiently upon the Lord. You know, the Israelites, it took them 40 years. There were blessings that they were being given upon the way. But for the bigger blessing, God had to make them to wait for 40 years. When the Israelites needed bread to eat, God did not say, wait until you guys get to, to, to Canaan. Then I'm going to give you guys bread to eat. But God was providing for them along the way they needed water to drink and god was providing for them along the way right and i just want to pray with someone today who says god may you give me the strength to wait upon your blessings may you give me the strength to know that you are molding my character may you give me the strength to know that you have got my your, my best interest at heart for your plans are higher than my plans he says that in isaiah that for his plans just as the earth is above the uh, as just as the heavens above the earth so are his thoughts and his ways above your thoughts and your ways and i just want to pray with someone today who says god may you give me the strength to keep on holding on to your promises to keep on holding on to your word for i know that if i wait patiently upon your word if i wait patiently upon what you have promised me i know that i shall surely be a victor and i want to pray with that person if you are right there may you just close your eyes as we pray god we thank you lord for such a beautiful uh, uh, lesson lord to help us lord and to remind us to wait patiently upon your word lord help us lord not to look for other means that will divert us from you lord help us lord not to look for other ways and to look for our own things and not wait upon you lord but help us lord to wait upon you lord for you shall renew our strength and you shall renew our spirit and once all of that is done lord our character the one that you're after, Lord, is going to be built not only on you on, on earth, but in you, Lord. And that is a strong, solid foundation. We thank you, Lord, for this. And this I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.